Hi friends, in the last video we learned about updating the data using the overwrite method. So the point was if we save another document at the same location then the document is overwritten and this way we can update the data. But we have to update all the properties of a document. But if you want to update specific values only, for example, in this case, let's say we want to update the brand only, then in this case, we can use the update method. So let's see how we can use the update method to update data in Firestore. So come back to our project and it is very simple. Okay. Instead of using the set method, this time we will use the update method. Okay. And let's write it like this. Now here we need to pass the property and the respective value. Okay, let's say we want to update the brand. So what we will write, we will write brand, which is the key or the property. Okay, case sensitive, it is case sensitive. So we have to write the brand as it is written here. So brand and the new value is here in this product object. So we can use p dot get brand and the same way we can write all the properties so in this case i am writing all the properties but if you want to update specific values you can do that as well okay so you do not need to pass all the property values so we have brand then description and the same way we can write all the property values okay so let me do it very quickly and that's it very simple right so let me show you it is working so guys this is our application click on view products okay now let's update this one plus and let's say we write one plus ten Click on update. You can see the product is updated and the name is updated. You can see here one plus 10. Okay, so it is working fine guys. So today we updated everything, but it is not necessary to update all the values, right? Uh, you can update all the values as well and it is not necessary. You can update whatever values you want. So that is all for this video friends. I hope you found it helpful. If you did then please hit on the subscribe button and share this video with your friends. And in the next video we will learn how we can delete the existing data from Firestore. Okay. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.